movie is for Unit 6, Learning Target 9, Geometry, dealing with trapezoids and kites. The angles, sides, and diagonals of a trapezoid have certain properties. What we see here whoops, is that a trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides, not two. The parallel sides of a trapezoid we call bases. The non-parallel sides we call legs, similar to a right triangle where we have legs and a hypotenuse. The two angles that share a base, the two angles that share a base are called base angles. A trapezoid has two pairs of base angles. These top two share a base, and these bottom two share a base. In an isosceles trapezoid with legs that are congruent here and here, that is what when we call it an isosceles. So we still have one pair of parallel sides and these two legs will be congruent. Please add that to your notes before moving on. On your purple sheet, you want to add <clears throat> this theorem if a quadrilateral is an isosceles trapezoid, then each pair of base angles are congruent. So you can see R and A are congruent as well as T and P. Add this to your purple sheets, then press play when you are finished. How are the opposite angles in an isosceles trapezoid related? So if you look at this isosceles trapezoid, how are opposite angles related? They are supplementary. Each pair of base angles is congruent to each other and is supplementary to the other same side interior angles formed along the same leg. What is the sum of the measures of all the angles of an isosceles trapezoid? 360, because it's a quadrilateral and it follows the pattern n minus 2 times 180. CDEF is an isosceles trapezoid because I've got one pair of parallel sides and these two legs are congruent. The measure of angle C is 65. What is the measure of angle D, E, and F? Pause the movie, try this, press play when you are finished. Well, we can see that C and D together are supplementary because with the lines parallel, these are same side interior. So I plug in 65, subtract 65, I get the measure of angle D is 115. Since these are congruent, we know that D and E are going to be congruent, so they're both 115, and I know C and F are congruent because those are base angles and they're both 65. Let's look at this paper fan. I'm going to try to do this a little bigger so you can see. Here is a paper fan. The second ring of the paper fan is shown at the right, consists of 20 congruent isosceles trapezoids that appear to form circles. See that right here. What are the measures of the base angles of these trapezoids? So we're looking at these two angles which would be Y and Y and we're looking at these two angles which would be X and X. So to do this we know that in a circle we have 360 degrees. The first thing we need to do is find this angle measurement up here. So to get that angle measurement, I know 360 divided by my number of sides here, which is 20, gives me 18. So this angle up here is 18. Now if you look at this triangle, let me see if I can highlight it here. This triangle right here, the larger triangle, you get that X there and X here are congruent. And they're congruent because they're the base angles of an isosceles triangle. Because I know that these two sides are the same. So, knowing that, I can find the measure of each acute base angle by saying 18, which is up here, 18, plus x plus x equals 180. And that'll help me solve for x, which is 81. 
Now that I know these two are both 81 degrees, I can find these two angles by taking, I know this is a, an I, isosceles trapezoid, so I know that I can set up 81 plus y equals 180 because they are same side interior angles and are supplementary. So then I solve for y and I get y is 99. So I know y here is 99 and x is 81. Study this problem because you will be expected to do one of these for the questions at the end of the movie. So, before we move on, let me erase, oops, let me erase this. I'm going to take a picture of it. Because I want you to use it on the next problem. So, this picture we're going to use here. It says a fan like the one in problem two, which I've embedded right here, has... 15 angles meeting at the center. What are the measures of the base angles of the trapezoid on its second ring? So you're going to find the measurements of y and x if there are 15 angles meeting at the center and not the 20 that we saw here. So you will be expected to pause the movie, do this one on your own, find both the acute base angles and the obtuse base angles the acute ones being the x and the obtuse ones being the y and then press play when you are finished okay we're going to add to the purple sheet pause this movie and add this theorem if a quadrilateral is an isosceles trapezoid then its diagonals are congruent so we have that AC is congruent to BD pause the movie add it press play when you're finished the mid-segment of a trapezoid is a segment that joins the midpoints of its legs. The mid-segment has two unique properties. So right down here you can see that we've got MN and we call that the mid-segment of a trapezoid because it's meeting at the midpoint of the two legs, meaning not the two sides that are parallel but the other two sides. So if a quadrilateral is a trapezoid then one the mid-segment is parallel to the bases. You can see MN is parallel to RA and TP. And two, the lengths of the mid-segment will be half the sum of the lengths of the bases. So right here, we have number one that they're parallel. Number two, MN is equal to half RA plus TP. So let's take this example here. We've got QR is the mid-segment of trapezoid LMNP. What is X? I've got the two parallel bases here. I know that QR is equal to half LM plus PN. So I'm going to plug in the values that I know, which are X plus 2 equals 1 half 4X minus 10 plus 8. And then I'm going to simplify this. I'm going to add these inside the parentheses and get negative 2. And I'm going to distribute the half in and solve, and I get x is 3. Now I know what x is, and that answers my question using the property of the mid-segment. You, you will need to do one of these for your questions, and that's on the next page. So this will be one of your questions. Algebra, MN is the mid-segment of trapezoid PQRS. What is X and what is MN? Pause this movie, do just 3A on your own, and then press play when you are finished. Since that'll be one of the questions, I'm going to skip going over it. And let's look at a kite. Now we've talked about trapezoids. Kites are a little different. A kite is a quadrilateral with two pairs of consecutive sides congruent and no opposite sides congruent. So note that the angles, sides, and diagonals of a kite have certain properties. So these two consecutive sides are congruent and these two are congruent in a kite. One theorem is if a quadrilateral is a kite then its diagonals are perpendicular. 
so diagonal AC and BD will hit at a 90 degree angle. That's the first property of a kite. Pause this movie, add it to your purple sheet, and press play when you are finished. All right. We're going to find the angle measures in a kite. This quadrilateral is a kite. We're given that. What are the measures of angles 1, 2, and 3? The first one we can do is angle 1, which is really easy. We can see that the diagonals DF and EG are intersecting, so therefore the measure of angle 1 is 90 degrees, since we know diagonals intersect 90 degrees. Now that I know this is 52, I can solve for 2 because all angles of a triangle add up to 180. So I can do 90, which is angle 1, plus 2, plus 52 equals 180, the triangle angle sum theorem. I add 90 and 52, and then I subtract 142 on both sides, and I get that 2 is 38. For angle 3, you might notice that this triangle is congruent to this triangle. So, since they are congruent by side, 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 or you could look at it, since 1 is 90, hypotenuse leg, then 3 must also be 52 degrees. So you're noticing that this diagonal is bisecting angle D and 3 is also 52 degrees. In this problem, I would like you to find the measurements of 1, 2, and 3. Pause the movie, try this on your own, and press play when you are finished. Okay, now that you are finished with that, you will be expected to answer that at the end of the movie, so I'm going to skip it. A quick little concept map of all the concepts we've covered would be if we start with a quadrilateral, a kite has no pairs of parallel sides, but it has consecutive sides congruent. Trapezoid has only one pair of parallel sides, and more specifically an isosceles trapezoid has the legs congruent. Two pairs of parallel sides gives us a parallelogram. Rectangle will give us four right angles, and a rhombus gives us four, right, four congruent sides. A square gives us both of those. So if you like this concept map and find it helpful, you can pause the movie Add this to your notes and press play when you are finished. That is all for this movie, and we will stop there.